Hey, Restore Church, just wanted to spend a few minutes with you this day and tell you a little bit about the changes that uh, is going to be happening with Life at Restore. Many of you heard it Sunday, but uh, if you weren't there, this video is for you. Restore Church's vision has always been and will continue to be seeking to show and tell Jesus in the 48202, 48206, or you could say Central Detroit, to make disciples who make disciples. Well, you might say, well, what is a disciple? Well, in Matthew 28, Jesus says, make disciples, teaching them to obey all that I've commanded you. So it's someone that is obedient to God, to his word. And so that's what we're seeking to do here at Restore. We believe we are missionary people sent from a missionary God to be missionaries in central Detroit. Well, what does that look like? Well, we believe that God has given us a mandate to know our context. We came into Detroit. Um, we started discipleship groups in the neighborhoods. We had three going before we actually started Sunday services. And they have been wonderful when it comes to discipleship. But there's one aspect that we believe they have fallen short on. And that is being a missionary in our context. You see, I've talked to several pastors in other areas of the country that are in similar context to ours in the urban, nitty-gritty grind of everyday life in these city centers, and they have said the same thing that we have come to realize, that community groups, gospel groups, discipleship groups, whatever you want to call them, just haven't worked in their context as far as with missionalities. It's helped believers, but as far as a missionary mechanism, it just hasn't helped. And so we want to be good missionaries. And so we want to have things for discipleship. We want to see our people grow. You grow in the word, the understanding in your knowledge of God. And so we're going to continue having DNA. Um, we might call them D groups or D crews or something along that line. But we want you to discover God together. We want you to be nurtured. We want you to also act upon what you are being taught in these DNAs. So that's not going to change. We're going to have those year round because discipleship has really been effective in these groups. And I've heard great things. And so that's not going to change. But as far as our D group mechanism, we have put it to more of a seasonal time. And so we're going to go into more seasonal type things here at Restore. One of the things we're starting is what we're going to call Rooted. You might know it as Sunday School. Well, we might go to that name Sunday School. I'm not against Sunday School. But we're going to learn this fall together starting in September of how did we get our Bible. When you're on the streets, that's good to know. It's good to know when you're not on the streets too. How did we get our Bible? The Word of God I have in front of me, why can I trust it? We're going to maybe in the spring talk about how do I evangelize? How do I talk to my neighbor in everyday language about what God has done for me? I hope that you do that, that it's an overflow of your heart of what you have had reconciliation with God. We're also going to be during those times of fall and spring talking about um, maybe things that have to deal with just men specific and women specific. So we might Title it, Be a Man, or Act Like a Man, or Be a Woman, Act Like a Woman. I don't know what we're going to call it yet, but we're going to have breakout times um, that we can talk gender-specific about the things that maybe men and women deal with that are different uh, with each other. We're going to uh, go to a semester program or a seasonal program, as we may call it. We're going to have fall, winter summer and spring. Rooted will be, or Sunday school, whichever one you want to call it, will be in spring and fall. We'll have DNA throughout the year, and so that will be um, coming up. Let me tell you a little bit about the fall. We'll have Sunday school. We're also going to be having things that are reaching out into our community that you can volunteer for. We've got Jobs for Life coming up that Kimberly and Lawrence are heading up wonderful, wonderful uh, program to help those who are underemployed or unemployed right now. 
Um, Elias Coffee is going to be opening soon, and we want volunteers to reach out in that context to for the people that um, uh, will be coming there. It's volunteering. We would love for someone to have a heart for tutoring our young folks. We've got Durfee, right, uh, middle school and elementary school right around the corner. We've also got Central High School. Maybe God would touch somebody's heart to lead a reading program for our children. We already have an arts program. Maybe God would have you head up an arts program at the post office for young people. Who knows what God will put on your heart. But be open. And so we're going to need volunteers for these things as we are into the fall um, season. Winter season, we're going to take time off from the busy schedules of life so that we can intersect in our culture and in our community. Your job may have parties. If you're too busy, you can't get to them. Spending time with family, but as a good missionary, kind of resetting those times so you are free to intersect in your culture, in your community, with who God has around you. A lot of us sometimes get too busy for coworkers, for family, for our block. So we want to free that time up from Thanksgiving to maybe the middle of January, just understanding we want to be good missionaries in the culture we're at. Now, that's not a time to sit on the couch and just veg on movies. And I don't think a good missionary would even have that heart to do that. But we want to be present in the context where God has placed us. So that's our, our winner we want to be a missionary at this time. Spring, what's going to happen during the spring? We're going to have rooted Sunday school, whatever you want to call it. DNA cruise will still be going on. But we want to have some dinners so that the body of Christ can get to know one another. Some of you have never had dinner with certain people in our body. You don't even know their name. And so we're going to be setting up host families to host dinners maybe every other week so that you can get to know one another. I hope this will be a refreshing time of you getting to know one another, being able to say someone's name and actually know their children or know that they're single or whatever, but getting to know one another. And I hope it's a refreshing time, like I said. I hope you can participate in this. But people of Restore getting together one another in the spring. And I'm hoping that when you get to know one another, that this will be really cool for this summer because we've got some great outreaches planned for this summer. We want to show and tell Jesus as a body this summer. So we're going to have more outdoor services, more barbecues, more block cleanups, more carnivals. We are going to try to participate in the rhythm of our community, stuff that's already going on, being able to free us to participate in that together as a body. And so I'm excited to see what God's going to do with this. I'm excited to see time being freed up so that we can be in our context, on our blocks, participating in the things that God has for us. Well, I'm not going to keep you any longer, but I just wanted to share those things. This is what's coming up 2016, 2017. We want to see you participate as a missionary with our store church. And if you don't live in Detroit, if you live in one of the surrounding suburbs, you're not a second-class citizen. We want you to participate in this. We also want you to be a missionary on your block, just like everyone should be on their blocks. Getting to know their neighbors. We want you to be a missionary at work, where you live, work, and play. That is what we are about. Being in our context, but being the hands of and feet, telling people about Jesus, beating his hands and feet in these neighborhoods. Love you. We will talk to you later. Thank you.